Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk has backed her child safety minister, saying she acted swiftly and appropriately in standing down staff. But child safety officers and protection groups have revealed the immense pressure they're working under. Kabulcha, in the spotlight first over the tragic death of toddler Mason Jet Lee, now as child safety officers face the consequences of allegedly mishandling the case. For ages it's been almost impossible to get kids protected because the staff have been overloaded. This Caboolture councillor blames a lack of resources. The threshold for actually getting some, a some action has gone up to include or to be only kids who are in acute danger. So that is why kids like Mason Lee have died. Minister Shannon Fentiman makes no apologies for standing down three staff and referring nine more to ethical standards. Those standards of practice are put in place to protect kids and in this case they were not followed. The Premier hasn't read the internal report saying it's not appropriate until the full review is complete. But she backs her minister. She has acted appropriately and she has acted swiftly. Child protection advocates argue there's no simple solution. I think it's an extraordinary move. I would hope that because it is a, a process that's involving the Queensland Family and Child Commission and the Commissioner, uh, Commissioner Varden and other people that it won't be a scapegoating. One child safety officer has told the ABC how she and her colleagues are operating under huge pressure. She says that what happened to Mason Lee could happen any day, any time, anywhere. They're simply overworked. The Premier has issued a plea for parents to look after their own children. It honestly breaks my heart to think that families cannot care for their children. She's promised to adopt any recommendations made by the Family and Child Commission, which is now investigating. Leonie Mellor, ABC News.